algebra is a language and we need to know some of the basic rules of how to communicate using this language. Some of these are just conventions that make sure that we can all understand each other and that we're using the same signs to mean the same things. So let's first look at something like 3x, which you'll see a lot of in algebra. What this means is 3 multiplied by x. So in algebra, we very frequently do not write the multiplication sign and we simply write 3x to stand for 3 times x. You would have a similar thing too if you wrote, for example, 2x plus 4. This means 2 times x plus 4. A very different story to 3x is x cubed. x cubed, that exponent, means that you've got x times x times x. x multiplied by itself three times. Now related to both of these is the idea that with 1 we often don't write it in algebra. So 1x, we could write that. It just means 1 times x. But the convention in algebra is that we simply write x. So if you see x just like that, it means 1 times x, one lot of x. And similarly, we don't bother to write x to the power of 1, because x to the power of 1 would mean just you know, like x squared means x times x, x cubed means x times x times x, x to the power of 1 means you've just got 1x, and so it's just x that we write it as. If you have something like 6b times a minus a, this 6b times a needs to be done first. Now, you can't actually do very much with that, except in algebra, we tend not to write the minus sign. So we could just write that as 6ba minus a. And then most people like to, for conventional algebra, to put their letters in alphabetic order. So instead of saying 6ba, it's just a bit prettier to say 6ab minus a. And say we had something like 3 plus p times 5. Again, we have to do multiplication first. So we could write this as 3 plus, and we could write p5 because in algebra we don't write the multiplication sign. But also in algebra where we have a letter and a number, we prefer to put the number first. So we'd rather write it as 3 plus 5p. And more often than not, we will start off with the terms that have got letters in them before we write numbers. So none of these are wrong. These are perfectly decent. But this is the most conventional way to express it. If you have something like this, where you've got a with negative b in brackets, what you mean is a multiplied by negative b. And you can actually write that more nicely as you know you've just got a times b and it has to be negative. And so it will be nicely written as negative ab plus 10. All of these that I'm showing you here are just conventions so that we all write algebra in a similar way. As I said before, these other ways of writing it are perfectly understandable. We can read them um, and so they're fine, but they are just the more conventional ways of writing things in algebra.